G'day guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm out on the Port Acking River after a few days of rain. As you can see, the water clarity is not that great. There's a lot of fresh water in this system right now, but we're gonna go throw some plastics around and see what we can catch. Hopefully some flooded, trevally, brim, whiting, all our normal species. Uh, we have a nice running out tide today, so hopefully that tide is going to help us, not hinder us today going to be using the new z-man soft plastic so the z-man grub and the z-man prawn and just giving it a test and see how we can go see how it uh works here on the port Acking river here we go i've been right. laying here for too long i don't know what else to do i want to get away from every little thing just to try to make it through Thinking about my options, every detail in my head. All right, so we have the two new Z Man soft plastics here. We have the Z Man prawns in Houdini color. I'll get him out of the pack and show you. I'm going to use the prawns first, mainly because I love using prawn soft plastics. I don't think it'll be a good day for prawn soft plastics, but we might be able to get something with them. So a little, it's like a green, a light green and sort of white color. I'll give you a better look, hang on. Hopefully that's a better look at it for you. In the Houdini color, that's a two and a half inch soft plastic. So I'm gonna use that one first because one, I love fishing with prawn soft plastics. They are one of the best style of soft plastics that you can get for any ruby system they absolutely smack them so that's why the main reason why i'm using that and then we have the z-man two and a half inch st grubs now the difference between this grub and the normal grubs that you might see are a couple things they've done a couple things firstly the tail the tail now has like three or four little flicks to it, rather than just the solid tail, so like four slits in it, which is a, as a, a person that used to make soft plastics, that's quite an interesting thing to take in and wonder whether that's gonna be a great uh, little extra to make it really wriggle. And a couple other things, the ribs are a lot thicker. There's a lot more ribbing there in between that um and yeah that's about it it's in motor oil color i think this is the one that's going to catch the fish today to be honest but i want to fish with a prawn <laughs> i really want to fish with a prawn soft plastic so um yeah we might have to change over to this one today who knows i am confident in the prawn one thing about fishing is you have to be confident in the plastics that you use or the lures that you use because then i don't know just makes you fish it more confidently you flick it more confidently you work it more confidently and you catch fish so yeah so this is a motor oil grubs in two and a half inch and then we have the prawns in a hidini color two beautiful soft plastics all right Enough talking, let's get into a fish. Have a look at this. The tiniest little flathead, but the cleanest looking flathead you'll ever see. He's so clear. Beautiful fish. Whack the prawn soft plastic. Second cast. Ugh, winner. Quickly putting him back, obviously. Beautiful. Fish number one on the new prawn soft plastic. I'm having a lot of issues with the GoPro. It is having a heart attack. I think it's time for a new one. <laughs> there must be some water inside or something. I don't know. But positive side we have an absolute belter of flutter this is a horse or a flutter right now you guys would have noticed in the episode previous 
uh, episode 63, I uh, dropped a flathead around here, a big one, probably a bit bigger than this one, but a bigger flathead on even heavier leader. <laughs> I dropped it on 10 pound, I'm using 6 pound at the moment, and yeah, I'm just getting whacked at the moment on this prawn. This Z-Man prawn, it is absolutely diabolical. Water plastic, great stuff, Z-Man. So, we're gonna keep fishing. I'm gonna measure him up, see how we go. See what size he is, hey? I think this fish wanted it, look at it, it is right down, it is right down the gullet of that flooded. You think he wanted that plastic? You think he thought that was just a little prawn hanging out, having a bit of fun? Milling away in the current. Right, let's get the lie detector out. See how big this one is. Perfect eating size. So, it is 54. 54 centimeter flathead, absolute belter. There you go. On the brag mat, bloke brag mat with my uh, logo on it, can't beat it. 54 centimeter flathead. So, some people might ask, that's probably getting close to the 60 meter mark. Yeah, 60 centimeter, not 60 meter, 60 centimeter mark. Definitely, um, research shows that male flathead pretty much grow all the way up to 60 centimeters is pretty much the limit that they will grow to. So this could be a male or female flathead. There's no way to determine whether we know whether it's a male or female. Sometimes they have what we call like rows, so like a fatter belly this time of year. And if they're over 67 meters, I generally put them back anyway. So I don't like to keep uh, flat at over 60 centimeters because they're pretty much all girls by then. Um, but this one's 54. It's getting close at 60. Yeah, definitely agree. But um, pretty much anything over 57, I normally chuck back. So 54, I don't often keep 54s. I don't often put them back. So I might just keep this one just this once. If we catch another 54 plus fish, we'll put them back. I think that's a good idea, a good deal, because it doesn't look like I have, this fish has any row or anything like that. And obviously there's nowhere to determine whether it's a male or female. So, um, yeah, keep going. Very, very happy with that. Such a good fish. The Z-Man prawn, where is it? The little two and a half inch Z-Man prawn. Perfect fish in, uh, what is it? I can't even, Houdini color, that's the one. In the Houdini color, I think it's a 1-0 hook, quarter ounce jig head, six pound liter. It's actually frayed quite a lot. That's why I missed half of that fight because I was trying to turn the GoPro on so you guys could see the fight. And then when I saw color of the fish and did see the plastic and knew it was a decent flooded, I was just like, no, nope, I need to get this fish in. Then I can just show it to you guys. So unfortunately you didn't get much of the fight, if any of the fight, uh, but there's not much I can do about it. This GoPro is having a heart attack. It, I think it's cooked. So anyway, we're just gonna keep going, keep trolling, keep having fun, hey? So after that fish, I've just upgraded my leader. I just had a look at that six pound leader and it was frayed to shreds. And really that fish didn't fight at all. It pretty much came straight to the boat. Um, there wasn't any drag screaming runs or anything like that. So going back to the 10 pound leader or 12 pound leader, um, the water's really dirty. So it shouldn't affect uh, the visibility. The fish shouldn't see it, but we'll see. If I don't get any bites, I'm gonna go back down to the six pound because I was getting plenty of bites on the six pound. So yeah, <clears throat> let's keep fishing. Jesus.
Ooh, on this Z-Man prawn. Trying to be so light with it. Ooh, no pressure on it, no pressure on it. Up here come. It's a ripper brim. It's in its mouth. Perfect. Okay. Back this off. That's a stonker. That's a stonker brim too. Oh, what can't this plastic do? Boy! <laughs> Sit you guys down there. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful brim with that beautiful Z-Man two and a half inch prawn in there. Absolutely perfect. It went quite there for probably 20 minutes and I hadn't got a bite and I thought I'll just cast really, really shallow. As soon as I cast it, bang, in the shallows there. And it absolutely munched that prawn. I'm gonna give it a quick measure, see what size it is. I'm obviously gonna put this one back. I don't really keep brim. But uh, have a look at that with the beautiful prawn just in the back of its throat there. Look at that. Yo! If I was a brim fisherman, I'd be a very happy man right now. That is a stonker. Oh. oh, he's nearly touching 40. Thirty-eight, right on thirty-eight. Look at him, absolute belter of a brim, yellowfin brim. Absolutely, so happy with that. First, that fifty-four centimeter flathead, and now a big, uh, what's that? Thirty-eight centimeter brim. He's easily a kilo over a kilo I've always been a I've caught one very nice brim over 40 centimeters on a lure before he was 44 when I was about 15 16 and this is the next best one that I've caught probably 10 15 years later so yeah so happy with that I'm gonna let him go all right buddy See you later. <laughs> yes, the Z-Man prawn does it again. Woohoo! Bang. Oh, fish. Another one. Oh, it's a flooded. 
keep his head down the lure's right in the side of his mouth perfect oh don't go too crazy buddy come on into the net yeah <laughs> oh man what a plastic this thing is oh That's a good one too. That's another keeper. Opened his mouth perfectly for me. Look at that, hooked perfectly in the corner of a drawer. Look at that. He's whacked that plastic. Probably or would be in the mid 40s. I'm gonna quickly measure him, but have a look at that. He warned to that plastic. Such a good fish and such a good lure. Yo! All right, quickly get this lure out of his mouth. Forty, what's that? Forty-three. Beautiful flathead. Forty-three centimeters. Perfect eating size, add to that other 54 that I've got right now. Very, very happy with that. Yo! Let's see if we can get a few more, hey? Literally next cast. <laughs> Literally dealt with that flathead just then, and next cast, bang. It's not a big fish, but... Literally next cast, a little brim. The broom killer, hey, as well. Yep, here we go. Oh, it's a Jewy. It's a little Jewy. Come here, buddy. Come on. Come here, buddy. Look at him. What a cute little fish. A little at this size, they call it a soapy. Oh my god. He's a tiny little Jewy. Look at that little soapy, tiny little soapy. He has again smacked that prawn. Such a beautiful, beautiful fish. Beautiful. I'll quickly try and measure him. He'd be 40s, low 40s, but absolutely, I'm so happy with that. That's like only my fourth or fifth Jew fish I've ever caught in my life. And the second one that I've caught on a the lure. They're in here, I've caught them around here before, but uh, yeah, that is so cool. It'd be cool to get a nice big one, but uh, yeah, let's get the hook out of him and put him back. See you later. Woohoo! Geez, a mixed bag today. Couple flathead, a uh, couple nice, really nice brim, and then that uh, Dewey. See if we can't get some more, hey? Eh? Next cast. Literally next cast. Oh, it's a good flathead. Oh, come here.
Oh. <laughs> Holy hell! Just need a second. That was crazy. I couldn't see the lure. I knew the lure was down his mouth. Luckily, it is only just in the corner. It's just in this corner here. All right, buddy. It's just in that corner there. Phew. But literally, the next cast after catching that dewy. Literally, the next cast. That was uh. That was bananas. All right, yep, 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 yep. All right, let me get some lip grips on this probably girl. Look at that. <laughs> what a flathead. That is an absolute stonker. Again, absolutely smack that prawn. Look at that prawn just sitting in the corner of its mouth right there. Perfect fish. I'm gonna see how big it is quickly and then, uh, yeah, decide whether I keep it or not. I'll probably put this one back, I'll be honest. You wouldn't believe it. you think I'd be lying, but that is 54 as well. Just touching 55, I reckon. But again, another belter, belter flathead. So happy with that. Absolutely stoked. That's two... 50 plus and then a couple in the 40s so it's been a great little session um, I'm gonna knock this one on the head the only reason why I'm gonna keep this one as well is our uh, we don't have that much fish in the freezer at the moment we uh, we've eaten it all so a couple of nice 54s again once they get over 60 I stress to you all even 57 and above I know that's only a couple centimeters but once they get over 60 they're all female so I stress and stress and stress to you guys to please put back the bigger flathead. Obviously this one, if it was over 60, I wouldn't even be thinking about keeping it. Um, but yeah, quite happy. Great stuff. I'm having second thoughts. Let's just put this one back. I did say earlier on the video, if I caught one around 54 again, I would put it back. So karma might come back to bite me if I don't. <laughs> So I'm going to release this beautiful, maybe male or female, we don't know. But, uh, yeah. See you later. That felt good to release that fish. I'm pretty happy about that. And, uh, yeah, another fish in the 50s. We wouldn't mind seeing something a bit bigger in the 60s, 70s, but not complaining. Jew fish some flathead, a couple of brim, all on that one lure. Like, I have not changed my lure at all. Sometimes you'll find, like I haven't changed this lure at all, and sometimes you'll find that, that it gets a bit chewed up and stuff, and it looks like it's literally just come out of the packet. Like, it is, there's no scrapes or scars or anything on it. All I've been doing is retying the, the lure knot or oh, sorry, the, uh, the knot right at the end of the jig head there every time I catch a fish just to be safe. So, you know, they're strong and sturdy as well. Like, I've caught probably eight or nine fish on that one lure and it hasn't started falling off. It hasn't started falling down the jig head, anything like that. So, yeah, pretty happy. Oh, it's a good flatty. All right, up we come. Now that flathead. I'm in very shallow water here. Give me two seconds. Let me get out of this. All right, 35. Just not legal, but again, won't be keeping this one. I'm gonna be releasing this little guy, so I'll quickly show you. Give me a better view of him. 
He's absolutely smacked that plastic. Look at that plastic right in the corner of his mouth. He absolutely hammered it. That Z-Man prawn, I am very happy with it. Uh, little 35, let's just get the hook out for him. And let him go. See ya, mate. It's a handful of flatter there, a couple little brim. Absolutely having a ball here. And just to let you know, it is one o'clock in the afternoon. I started fishing at nine. Um, not an early morning rise this morning. Got up, thought it was going to be pissing down. And it, you know, was a little bit sunny. And the wind was pretty good. So I thought, why not? Let's go try these new plastics. And, uh, Lucky I did. We had a good tide. We've got a good period of uh, bite windows still to go, so let's keep going. Yep, another fish. Another flatty. I just can't stop at the moment. I'm on fire. Again, the prawn is smacked into the mouth of that flathead. He's probably, let me have a quick little measure. Let's see. Only 37, 38, so I'm gonna put him back, another little one. We've got a couple good sized ones there, so. <clears throat> put this little one back, okay? Again, look at that. Smacked it. All right, buddy. There, mate. Well, I've lost count on how many that is, but it's a good session either way. All right. So my review of the new Z-Man Prawn Soft Plastic. I really, really enjoy it. Obviously, uh, I've caught some really good fish today, so how can I not love it? But I tell you what, to get into some more technical specifics, it's great to have a Prawn Soft Plastic that is stretchy. All the other prawn ones that I've used over the years would be 10 plus years of fishing with prawn soft plastics. They do get chewed quite a lot. The smallest fish all the way up to the biggest fish love eating them. And so it's really, really good to have something that's got that stretchiness to it. And after 10 or 15 fish, I've only got that little bite there and that's it. And when it's sitting like this, you really, I could keep fishing with this. It's not something that I'm too worried about or wanting to try and get rid of. A um, couple of other things that I really enjoy are obviously the little feelers here. Then then the front too, I feel makes it, they um, would vibrate in the water and they would shimmer in the water. It reminds me of a soft plastic, a prawn style soft plastic again. Uh, that would have been geez five or six years ago now at least it was called the manic strip manic shrimp manic strip by savage i'm pretty sure and it had all these little feelers and everything on it along the side and you could literally sit it in the water and it would shimmer down and then you'd flick it back up and it would do this really cool shimmer and from looking this in the shallows it has that similar sort of um concept so something i'm really excited to keep continually using i'd love to see other colors i'd love to see it in the pink color and all the other range that they've got um i was even thinking would this work offshore and offshore reefs for snapper kingfish all that sort of stuff in certain areas maybe up in queensland i definitely think it would be something that would be uh 
beneficial but down here set on the south coast maybe maybe it would work i don't know but uh i find two and a half inch in the river this is going to be a deadly 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 summer um lure to use especially around the prawns so around the new moon when the prawns are running regardless whether this system has prawns or not it is going to be dynamite you can see i caught jewies i caught some really really good flathead on it some snapper and a really nice brim and a very small brim as well on it so it really does catch everything so yeah very impressed very very impressed um anyway hope you all enjoyed it leave a thumbs up if you did subscribe and i will see you all in the next one peace out Woo!